with everything this season been going my way, fighting to the starting lineup, building that team chemistry. I mean, we've been knocking off some of the best teams in the conference. We've been performing since we lost to UCLA. But I can't even lie. It's time for the March Madness tournament and things are getting scary. Not just for the game of basketball, but it's when I got that freaking phone call. Hello? What? Are you serious? In front of my girl going to labor a little early, had me scared, I ain't gonna even lie. I mean, I hit the highway, cutting up through traffic, feeling like Rodney. I mean, I had to get here as fast as possible. And I know she pissed at me. 16 minutes calls, she ain't going for none of that. I'm here now. With the whole situation being a surprise, it was very emotional. But the best part was to get the news that everything went perfectly fine. Spending a few nights in the hospital, you already know. Doctors had to run tests, make sure the baby is healthy, and we was up out of there. But I still feel like I had to do more. Like, I can't be living and trying to raise a kid in the hood, bro. Like, that's old. I've been through the situation already. And I don't need my kid to go through it as well, man. I mean, like, I ain't gonna lie. Life is real right now. <laughs> and I feel the pressure. I feel the pressure that I gotta change our situation. And you don't think I'm gonna go crazy for my son and my future wife? I'm getting to this league by any means. Yes, sir. And we back with another one. Oh, look at the John Moran Lake chat. But anyways, we trying to progress the story a little bit, you know what I'm saying? We gonna get back to what we know the time story to be, you know what I'm saying? Like, we gotta get my boy to the league, chat. But anyways, man, if you already have it, bro, hit that thumbs up button for your boy, man. We're trying to go crazy, chat. Like, first round of the playoffs of March Madness. We're going against the, what, the, the Razorbacks? Who that? <laughs> but the air these boys that on me. Look at my boy Akis, bro. But he really be going crazy. But yes, sir, chat. You already know the freaking vibes, man. Diving right into it. You already know, bro. We locked in. We got to build up that. That, that draft stock, you feel me? You trying to be one and done in college and already, buddy, I here show these bricks. You love to see it, man. Been in this atmosphere is game changing. We got to lock in. With no hesitation, my dog Hogger. Bang! Just knocking down that tray right there. Picked up my first assist on the game, man. I'm telling y'all right now, bro, we was so locked in. On defense, we was stopping everything. We was getting these steals. Running the floor, Hogger returning the favor, throwing that freaking lob. Now, I can't even lie, bro. The energy in the stadium was just on a different level, bro. Everybody was going crazy. The fans was locked in. We was locked in. And, and the Razorbacks, they couldn't handle it, bro. Like, they were so confused on defense. Like, they was crazy for leaving me open. Wide open for the trade. Bang! Start off with the game on a 12 and 0 run, bro. They had to call a timeout. Like, coach, help. <laughs> it was getting bad, bro. I can't even lie. With them being a, the bigger team, they couldn't handle the pressure of this stadium. But look at that boy Smith getting trades. Finally getting his team sorted. I mean, he came back to back possessions, bro. Came back with a trade, and it was money. I can't even lie. Like, he's been the star of the team. He finally stepping up trying to be on saying He ain't me, though. But anyways, as Coach Hart calling these plays, call for the little doubles off ball screen. Hawker top of the key, deep two. And it was money. My boy stepped up offensively, finally, bro. You feel me? Finally, some rhythm, y'all you know saying? You feel me? But anyways, man, after getting a great stop right there, we trying to run the floor, analyzing the floor. I'm going to my position, you feel me? Wide open in that corner, calling for that Wilson, pulling up that tray ball. Bang! Contester or not, you know I stay shooting greens. As they came back with their own three of themselves, I'm like 19 and 19. Hold on, bro. We start off on a 12 and 0 run. Everybody come off these screens. And this Goofy just had to freaking miss. Bruh. You're wide open. Off the screen. How did you airball? But advancing further into the game, you guys got to understand, bro. Like, how did the score get like this? 39 to 25 for me being subbed out? Is this what we're really doing right now? How? But look at my boy trying to get aggressive. We should got that board right there. Yes, sir. Big horsey in the corner getting buckets. I got fires back up, man. I am the spark of the team. I got to do me. Oh, my goodness. Look at the lay. Look at the lay. I told y'all Tommy is a James Harden type of build going crazy. Let's lock in, chat. Like, it, honestly, my first credit, Tommy, it was not, It was no intentions to be anything like James Harden, but we here now, bro. Look at this. Look at the great efforts. Oh, my God. Yo, thick. What a bucket. 
Nice little mid-range contested jump shot, but hey, it is what it is, man. Eight-point game. I got 18 on me, two boards, three assists. Right there, boxing now. Great stop. Running on the floor. My boy Akis with a long mid three with a... Like, like what the hell is a long mid three, bro? <laughs> like, what I be talking about half the time? Anyways, man, you already know us, bro. We had to go on a nice little run. Closing in the gaps. I'm fatigued right now. Look at the mismatch. Look at that point guard guarding our big. He is crazy. Come on, man. But by the time we got to the halftime, it was just a little three-point game, you feel me? And if you haven't hit the thumbs up button for your boy already, smash the like button right now, bro. We trying to lock in this first round of this tourney. But as we hop into the second half, bro, you already know the energy is a little crazy. As I got 18, 3, and 4, drop down to my boy Williams. Williams with the bucket. I got to get the team started, bro. It starts with me. You know I'm not the point guard. But I, I usually initiate throughout the entire game. Look at my dog off the ball. Hogger with a tray. I'm going to be honest. I never see him perform like this, bro. Like, offensively, he never was a bucket like this. But look at the boy. Hey! Find a lane to the basket, bro. I mean, we was doing great. We was getting the stops on defense. Running the transition. Dishing the ball. Like, look at this, bro. Oh, my God. Throwing a lob. Easy lay. You feel me? We was out there getting a little flashy, man. I mean, we had to get the crowd pumped up. Like, it, it only makes sense, right? Like, we had home court advantage for a reason. But as we advance further into the game, it's like a little seven-point game, you know what I'm saying? They trying to stop me from getting to the basket. <laughs> Got Goofy jump out of the sneakers. Step back, green bean. Bang! Showing off that mid-range. Now, in every typical situation, man, Smith Jr. was the life of the team. Them and Yofik. And I ain't gonna even lie, bro. That Gare dude, <laughs> he been mentally out of this game the entire way. <laughs> Like, Buddy been locked up mentally the entire game. <laughs> like, he really was a non-factor. But us, we came out there with a full team effort. Everybody touching the rock. Everybody getting their shots. And look at this. Beach him wide open. Draw in the defense. Bang. As he knocking down that trade. Our bigs was just dominant. Getting offensive boards. Getting second chance points. You love to see it, chat. And I ain't going to lie. Like, I don't know what type of shot that was. But as an 11-point game with three minutes and ticking. I wasn't stopping Council. Council was out here doing his thing. He had like a cool little 17 under his belt. You feel me? Like, what, what little old me gonna stop a 6'11 big from getting to the basket anyway? On the fast break. Like, I wasn't stopping him. And I wasn't gonna give him no, no three point play. But look at me moving off the ball with a tray. Bang! I was so fired up in this game, bruh. I was not letting them get in my way. And I had my take. Moving off the ball once again. I need that freaking Wilson. Try to size him up. I was like, hold on. This, this, this ain't just a normal take, bro. This ain't just a spot up. This is limitless range, too. Moving off the screen. I had to let it rain. Packing them boys up, man. We're moving along to the tournament, to the next round. I think we got to play freaking Kentucky, bro. So it's going to be tough. Like I said, I'm just out here trying to build up my draft stock. Trying to get to the league. Change our living situation. And be a star in the NBA. But anyways, chat, if you guys enjoyed this short video, you already know exactly what to do, man. Appreciate every single viewer that tuned in. Anyways, man, like the video. Subscribe, leave a comment. Now you're out. Yeah,